Hey guys, what's up? Spartan85 here. Welcome to day two of the console tutorial. Uh, just kind of showing you guys. I had a lot of people ask about the, um, the campfire. So I figured I'd go ahead and just put a cooking pot in here and just show you guys. Uh, I had a lot of people ask us how you got to do it. So I have a cooking pot here. I'm going to take this thing out. So you take the cooking pot. You can push down on the right trigger, on the right uh, joystick. If you want. It puts it directly in there, just like that. Um, or you can just push A, bring it up, and put it in here. If you happen to have a cooking grill, you can throw that in, and the beaker goes there. So now you can either use wood or coal to start this thing. So I'm just going to throw some coal in there, and if you push X, or I guess square on PlayStation, you can take half the stack. So you separate half the stack like that. That works on anything. works on stone also, anything. So I usually just take half the stack, just throw it in there. gives you three minutes right there. So, uh, coal, I think, works a little better than wood, but I could be completely wrong about that. And then if you just push Y, or just highlight raw meat, push up on recipes, it's going to show you what recipes you can do. I can already make charred meat and grilled... I can't make grilled meat because I don't have a cooking grill. But I can make charred meat. And if you happen to have some water, you can make boiled meat. Uh, there's boiled meat there. Uh, that's a good one to make. Uh, you can also, if you have some eggs, you can make bacon and eggs, but I need another egg to make bacon and eggs. So since I don't have anything else, I'm just going to go and make charred meat just to have something to eat. And if you have some more water, you can make, you can make corn on the cob right here. Um, not much I can do with the corn on the cob without water. I really need some water. Uh, but that gives you some food, at least something to kind of get by for now. If you guys just need some food real quick. So it's going to come out in the output. You just let it run. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, if you have these metal plates, uh, knock out the block next to them, and you can kind of see what's under them. See, that one's a wood block underneath. This one I already knocked out and repaired it, but this one, if you can see, it has a purse. So just go ahead and then uh, you can search the purse. You don't have to take out that uh, plate. And you got a blood pack. So the blood packs, uh, you can eat these. These are gross, but they give you plus five health. Plus six fullness and plus six hydration. They actually give you food, water, and health. Uh, so drink the blood packs. That's what I do. I drink them all the time. They give you food, water, and health. Um, good, just easy way to do it. So you can pick up these candles if you want to. Somebody said in the comments, pick up the candles. I generally don't. But if you want to just carry them around, you can put them in your inventory here. You can walk around with it. It gives you a little bit of light. You can, I don't think you can even hit the zombies with it. And then when you get to your base, you can go ahead and put them down like that. It gives you a little bit of light. Um, I took apart the toilet with the stone axe. It gave me one lead pipe, or I'm sorry, one short iron pipe. You can do that. You can also take apart these fridges, too, uh, with your stone axe. And it's going to give you construction skills, uh, action skill, and it's going to give you some supplies, too. So you can do that. Somebody asked also in the comments what they, um, what they should put their skill points into. Um, I only have five skill points. Uh, everything that says one point is an action skill. So archery, you're going to get better archery by shooting the bow. Uh, armor smithing, you're going to get better at, you know, by making armor. So anything that's ten is something you have to put points into. So right off the bat, I'm going to go into sexual Transaurus real early. Uh, I'm going to do that. Uh, and then you just kind of go up. You can go, I usually go up here to the arrows and just kind of go over. Uh, blunt weapons is a great one that you're going to earn. I've already got level two because I've been killing zombies. Put a point into Pummel Pete. That's going to help out a lot. Uh, whacking the zombies with your with your club. Those two are your main ones you want to go into early. Minor 69 is a really good one to go into early too. Um, that that helps you basically you know, tear down blocks, tear down rocks, all that stuff. I like to go into Treasure Hunter early too because once treasures are a big thing in this game. You can get a lot of money, a lot of ammo from this. Um, those are just kind of the ones I like to do. This is done. Turn off your campfire. Grab your coal. And grab your cooking pot since we're on the move today. Um, and I kind of said this in the last video. I think the trader is going to be in the wasteland. I don't know. I am going to go ahead and take this road here. Just to see where it goes. Looks like there might possibly be something right here. If you guys want some clay soil early, um... I think the, uh, here they are. Here is the brown spots. These little black spots are the boulders. So if you need a boulder, you can grab those. Uh, but 
that if you need clay soil, if you're trying to make the forge pretty quick, there's some clay soil there. There's some clay soil there. So let's take this road to the northeast. If I can get out of here. And let's kind of see where this one goes. Like I said, normally I'd be heading to the trader, but I think he's probably in the wasteland. I Okay, this road goes straight up the side of the hill here, so we'll just go up here. And what we're looking for is just more POIs to loot. That's mainly what we're looking for. Um, we're looking for leather. Uh, when you're walking on these things, search these trash piles. Never really know what you'll find. I got a zombie approaching me. Let's take care of her. Okay, we leveled up. Okay, so the food. I'm going to go and eat the food. It gives you... Uh, I'm See, if you look at the bottom left, I have an 82 health. This thing's going to give you a little bit of health as you eat it. And there's some water there, so grab the water. Those are great to grab. And then I'm going to scrap this can. That's going to give you some iron. And what I generally like to do is I like to... Oh, you know what? We leveled up. So let me go ahead and go into skill points and show you guys that. I'm going to go into Sex or Thranosaurus uh, right off the bat because we're on foot. It's going to help with your going to help a lot with the uh, stamina. And I'm keeping an eye over here because it looks like I have the wasteland over there. So I want to kind of keep an eye on that. What I like to do is I like to walk what's what I call the ditches. Because you're going to look for... Uh, oh, look at that. A crack of book right off the bat. Oh, we are in luck. This might be a town. There's a pig right here. I'm going to try to kill this pig. All right, we'll grab some more meat real quick. Sounds like we got a lot of Sometimes these can have dogs in them. Be careful with these junkyards. This looks like a town, though, so I found a town pretty quick. Looks like it does go into the wasteland, though. Um, so this might not be the greatest town to raid early, but I'm going to definitely hit that crack of it. Let's check out this junkyard. Let's see what's going on here. A lot of times what I'll do is I'll try to knock out a block like this so I can use melee. If you can draw them over here. Not really working though. There's some painkillers. We'll grab those. I am bleeding out, so I'm going to go to my action skills, or my, my, my hot bar at the bottom, highlight the bandage, left trigger that thing. That's going to fast use it, and I lost some wellness, too, because I was bleeding out and I took some damage. So if you are bleeding out at the bottom left, you'll see like a little heart with, um, with like an arrow through it, kind of. That means you're bleeding out. Um, you will die. Duct tape will take that. You will die pretty quick if you're bleeding out. So use a bandage. A lot of zombies. Um, the shades, they sell for 19. So this is up to you guys. I'm going to go ahead and put them on because they do give you a little bit of uh, concussive, puncture, and radiation stuff. So I'm just going to wear them. It looks like I'm already wearing aviator glass. So I'm going to scrap those. We'll take the dukes. We use those at the trader. There's some painkillers. Um, if you need to, you can pop those. They give you a little bit of health. I'm going to go ahead and take them for now, though. And take the spring. You're going to need that for the mini bike eventually. Uh, when you come across these tires, I like to take them apart because you have a pretty good chance of getting wheels. And you need the wheels to make the mini bike. Uh, there's a brass trophy. I'm going to scrap that. What a lot of people like to do is take that, though, and put it directly into the forge. You get more brass from that. But save some room. I'm going to scrap it. There is some glue and some cloth fragments. So if you happen to get this, to save some room, click on glue, click on recipes, and make duct tape. It's going to save, it's going to, it's going to stack it into the duct tape pile. That's going to save you a lot of room. I scrapped the candy tin cans for the iron. Uh, you can make landmines out of those later game once you get a workbench and stuff. Looks like this thing's raided. Now, usually there is a safe up here. Yes, there is. I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. 
Uh, if you want to sit up here at night and hack into this thing, I got some wheels out of that. Look at that. I got level 68 wheels. Those sell for 111. So if you start getting a bunch of those, you can sell them. Um, and it looks like I got some trash up here. To try to search. Lead trophy, I'm going to scrap, and I'm going to take the uh, coin. So we just looted that. Now, at night, if you want to sit on the top of this thing on the dumpster at night, the zombies won't be able to get to you. I'm going to grab this iron, though, so you can uh, harvest this iron here. Um, you could sit up there at night and hack into that thing all night. It'll take it'll take you about half the night or so to really get into that. So let's go to the crack -a book you got to be careful, though, because we're really close to the wasteland. Uh, there is a pig doing... That's pretty funny right there. There's a pig going around in circles right there. Um, got to be careful, though. It looks like the wasteland is right there, and dogs will uh, do dogs will appear right here on the, on the edge of the wasteland. So you got to be very careful. Uh, let's check out this crack -a book though. There is uh, Silence of the Lambs. Let's just go ahead and read that. Uh, you got to kill a Screamer Zombie. So, so whenever a Screamer Zombie appears, you'll kill it, and you'll get uh, you'll get basically credit. You'll get some XP from that. So, so there, you see, there's two different ways to get in here. You can go in through this door if you want, uh, but you have a wide open right spot right here. I just go in through the windows. Uh, might have to knock the glass out though. If you want to get in here and dance with the zombies, you can. I've died in these buildings though before. Whenever they lay on the ground like that, it's really important to hit them in the head. Hit them in the head. That's when you're. That's the best chance to get your headshot. Sounds like I got some more zombies outside. Maybe I got one here. I uh, will take the water. I'm gonna leave the sandwiches there. I don't really need them yet. I, I only eat those when I really, really need it. Um, now let's say a dog does come from over here. He chases you. Best thing to do is just get inside or get on the roof. You can get on the roof from the back side. There's a uh, ladder over there. Now, if you can look at the bottom, my club is it's pretty much done. It's it's like level 31, but it is done. I'm going to go ahead and scrap it. I know it's probably not the best idea, but I'm going to scrap it for the iron. And uh, let's go over here. I'm going to make a wooden club just to get me something really quick. I'm going to make an iron reinforced club right behind it. So I got a level 51 wooden club. You can use this thing in a pinch. I don't recommend it because it kind of sucks. It does work a little bit. Um, it just, in my opinion, it sucks. Let's go and eat that food. I could use the health. Okay, so there's my new Iron Reinforced Club. I'm going to go and scrap this old wooden club. You can just make one real quick if you need. I have some animal hide. Um, I'm going to go and craft that into leather. You can also make an animal hide hood, animal hide gloves if you want, but I'm going to craft it into leather because I want leather. That is what I'm after. I want to make the forge as quick as I can. Let's jump into the crack -a book real quick. Um, if you have a wrench, take apart these filing cabinets. You're going to need mechanical parts. And to go and search all this stuff, uh, the coins is great. Okay, so this is what I'm after right here on these couches. Um, let me make a new stone axe. So this is what I want to cover. So the stone axe... You can repair it if you want. Let's go and repair it, and I'll show you what it does. It's level 36 now. Now it's level 34. It goes down each time you repair it. So the best thing, in my opinion, is to just scrap it, 
and make a new one. Let's go ahead and make a new one. Level 38, so now it's better. And just do that each time, it's gonna get better and better each time. So, take apart these couches. This is where you're gonna get a butt ton of leather. I'm just gonna do that right now. There's more couches back here we're gonna go and take apart. There is a dog, I can hear him. I am not too worried about it though, because he doesn't really have a way to get in unless he jumps over the top. Um, it sounds like he's in the back, so. But since he is here, I need a way to deal with him, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a hatch. I'm gonna make a hatch. I'm gonna take this one apart here because it's the least, uh, least, uh, I guess the, the worst one. It, it's the easiest one. Go and put a hatch down and. That. This way, when he does come, I have a way to deal with him. Um, Dogs can jump over these hatches, though, so just be careful about that. I think that zombie I'm hearing is on the roof. Pretty sure. Um, how many arrows do I have? I need some more arrows, don't I? Let's make some more arrows. I kind of want to see where this dog is, though, real quick. I think he's back here. Yeah, he's right there. You can get a lucky shot if you want. I don't think he senses me. So I hit him. Um, looks like he's not facing me. Okay, sometimes they get stuck like this. Okay, so I killed him. If he did happen to run over, I'm going to go and grab him for the animal hide. You can harvest these dogs with a knife and get some animal hide. And, see, he was trying to come in the back door there. So this is the wasteland. So be careful. There are going to be mines here. There's going to be mines everywhere and dogs and cops. Uh, so just be mindful of where you're where you're, where you're hanging out at. Uh, I'm going to get back in here where it's somewhat safe. Okay, so I got a butt ton of leather now. As you can see, I got 53 pieces of leather, which is a lot more than I usually have on day two. Uh, I'm going to take this animal hide. I'm going to craft that into leather, too. So let's see what we need for the forge. We should be getting close to needing, having everything for the forge. I'd really like to get the forge put down. Um, let's go, we need 20, 26 more small stones, 50 clay, and a bellows. So let's go ahead and make a bellows. Let's see if we can do that. Type in bellows, here it is. You need uh, wood, leather, and short iron pipe. So let's go ahead and craft a bellows. And then I'm gonna need a shovel to dig up this uh, clay soil. So let's go ahead and make a... Just type in shovel. You can make a stone shovel. And while that's crafting, let's... I got all the leather out of here. So let's go ahead and loot. There's a little bit in here. There's uh, another filing cabinet over here. Glass jar, I'll take that. Scrap the can. And if you happen to find a shop like this, early game, this is this is really good. So these bookcases are all, you're going to get a lot of paper out of this and a whole bunch of stuff, but you're going to get schematics. And this is, what we're really after is the mini bike schematic, in my opinion. There is the leather hood schematic. If you know it, it'll say it right here. It'll say known. So it doesn't say known in this little spot here. So that means that um, I do not know it. So we're going to go and read it. And now we can make the leather hood, which I will probably end up making here. Okay, so there is the iron chest armor schematic. I do not know it, so now I can make iron chest armor. Let's just look at the, uh, how do you make that? Um, let's type in that, let's type it in, iron. Uh, 
Probably got to make that in the workbench. I'm guessing you have to make that in the workbench. Okay. Looks like my bellows is done. It's there at the bottom. I'm going to go eat this food to get it out of my inventory. You can take the paper if you want. Um, oh, what do we got here? Hunting rifle schematic. That's a really good one early game. Now you can start assembling parts when you find them. There's leather leg armor. Read that one. So basically, once you start finding hunting rifle parts, you can... Oh, what do we got here? Pistol book. Now I can make the pistol. So once you start finding pistol parts, you can start assembling those. And I highly recommend if you do start to find them. Uh, there is the auger schematic. That's a great one early game. Uh, a whole bunch more paper. There is the leather boot schematic. So if you see these empty baskets, if they have stuff in them, you can search them. Search them. But if not, pick these things up. That's a level 513 shopping basket. That's pretty darn good. Uh, I need to scrap something. I'm going to scrap these wood frames. And I'm going to drop this rotten flesh. I don't need it. But that's a pretty good shopping basket. You're going to need that for the mini bike. To craft the mini bike. That's going to be your storage on the mini bike. So if you see those, pick those up. Uh, they also sell pretty well at the trader, so it sells for 92 if you want to sell it at the trader. Uh, the paper, what I was saying earlier, the paper is used to make shotgun ammo. So if you want to take this paper, you can, but I don't start collecting it until later in the game. There is the leather chest armor. So we got a lot of armor to make if we want. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, let's jump. There's a bathroom. Oh, there's some more stuff back here we can search real quick. If you happen to have some coin, you can buy some things in the vending machine. I only have 21 coin. That's going to be enough. Uh, a lot of times these coolers will have food or water in them. Nothing in there, though. Pick up your glass jars. You can fill those up in the uh, water sources later on. Okay, so at the bottom left, as you can see, it says 25%. So, 25% thirst. So, click on X, draw, bring up your crafting menu, go over to your character. It's going to tell you I have 25% water and 72% food. So, make make sure, keep an eye on that. I'm going to go ahead and drink some water. And let's go and eat some food, too. All right, there's some trophies. Uh, take the oil. Oil makes repair kits. Uh, we'll take all that stuff. And like I said, when I when I find glue and I have cloth, I'll just go ahead and turn that into duct tape right off the bat. Duct tape's going to be neat. Uh, looks like I can make the blunderbuss, too. Take the bandages. We'll need those. More glue. I'll just turn that into duct tape again. So here's the blunderbuss. Um, you need some for It's a good gun to make early game. You can use just need forged iron, short iron pipe, glue, duct tape, wood, and then you can make blunderbuss ammo. Pretty easy too. So if you just want a quick, easy weapon to make, you can make one of those. There's a toilet pistol. I'm glad I found this in the tutorial. So I need to drop some things. Let's drop. Um, I tell you what. Instead of dropping stuff, let's do it the right way. Let's make a storage chest. If you cannot drop stuff, it's it's better. Because you need everything in this game. You really do. So I'm just going to put a storage container right here. Let's throw some stuff in. Okay, now we got some room. Um, highly, I don't recommend dropping anything if you can. So toilet, or toilet pistol, those are, the, those are great. You can find those in toilets. I bring this down right away. Um... And then, so, this is what I want to show you on the guns. If you click on Y, bring up bring up the pistol, click Assemble. If you know the schematic, now you can take this thing apart. So, let's just take the pistol barrel out. So, there it is right there. Now, if you get a better pistol barrel, let's say you get a level 20 pistol barrel, you can switch these out. You can make it better. You can make this pistol better and better. The more parts you find, switch these out. You can also repair them with repair kits. If they, these parts start going down, you can also put a flashlight on it, too, if you want a flashlight. So, now we have a pistol. Now we at least have something. The pistol in the console version kind of sucks. Um, it's good for dogs, though. Keep it around for dogs. There's a blood draw kit. Sells for 160 I only sell those. You use those to, well, draw blood. 
Um, so yeah, I don't think, uh, yeah, you use it and it takes away 25 health, but it gives you a blood pack. So you make, you need blood packs to make first aid kits. Um, all right, so here we are in the back. Uh, you got all these boxes to search. Search all these. There is a brass trophy. We'll scrap that. Now we have this room back here we're going to have to beat into. Sometimes you can go around it, but this is uh, cobblestone, as you can see, so it's just going to be easy to go. But this is wood. Let's go through here. But since this is iron, we'll just go through here. It's a little less. As you see, my stone axe is getting pretty deteriorated, so let's go and scrap it, and let's make a new one. And sometimes you don't have plant fibers on you. You'll have to go out and get plant fibers or something like that, or stone. So, level 47, so it's already going up a little higher now. Already getting a better stone axe. Um, if you have a wrench, take these apart, these chairs. If you don't, just whack them. It will give you some leather. Give you some leather from those. Grain alcohol, you need those to make first aid kits. Now we have a, a safe here. Now what I would do is, after dark, I'll hang out in this crack -a book and I'll just beat into this safe all night with my stone axe. But I'm not going to do it right now because I'd like to use daylight when I can. So let's go. We have the roof to check too. So let's go. Um, let's bring down our shovel. Uh, where is it? Oh, I made a shovel. Oh, it's right here. Level 45. Okay. So let's go to the roof, and then we'll go up, and or, then we'll go grab some, um, whatchamacallit, um, some clay soil. I can't talk. Bullet casings. Take those. Uh, if you're running out of room, you can scrap them for the brass, though. That's usually what I do early game. I just carry around brass. Scrap the nails for the iron. Okay, I don't want to hang out back here too long, because we are in the wasteland. There he is. There's that guy. I knew he was up here. So you can use the pistol on him if you want. Make sure it's loaded. Go for headshots. Knocked him down, and then I just run up, and uh, there we go. Two shots. That'll take it. There is a shirt. Um, I'll probably just put that on. It's probably better than what I'm my plant fiber shirt. Yeah, it's better than my plant fiber shirt. Just take that. Usually there's some pretty good loot up here. You got the corpse. Uh, there's a 44 Magnum frame and some gunpowder. I'll take both of those. Um, gunpowder, you can make some pretty fun things. You can make some pipe bombs uh, and all kinds of stuff. There's oh, we already searched them. Usually there's a duffel bag. Here it is. There is a pistol barrel. Okay, so let's go to our pistol. Let's go to assemble. And I tell you what, I got a guy up here. Uh, let's take care of him real quick. Okay, so let's go to the pistol. Let's go to it. Since I've read the schematic, I can do this. So let's take this barrel out. It's level 16. Let's put level 72 in there. It's going to take it up to level 71 pistol now. Now, if you find a workbench, you can combine these two pistol barrels in the workbench and make a better one. They're both, they'll be repaired and a higher level. So this is where I usually break a leg coming down these stupid ladders. Yeah, I, did, I was able to do it, but be careful going down those ladders. Okay, so I'm after um, I'm after clay soil. So let's pull up the map. Let's look real quick. Looks like I have some. I turn around. It looks like it might be inside here. Maybe let's go look. Um, easiest way is usually just to mark it on the map. Do a quick waypoint. Just go straight to it. Might be there's another junkyard over here. Okay, so if you, I, I went to, and I got a guy, I got Mo coming over here. Uh, let's take care of him real quick. So I am stunned. Uh, when he hit me, he stunned me. So that sucks when it happens. You just got to keep whacking and try to get out of it. You're, you're basically stuck in place when you're stuck. Water. Okay. So I went to the spot. It's kind of hard to see. Um... Let me drop. Let me scrap something. Uh, let me drink this yucca juice. That'll give me some room. So the clay's on the ground here. And another zombie. Goodness, got a crawler.
I will take all that. Great stuff. Um, okay, so <laughs> I looked down. It was where the corn was. The corn usually grows on the clay. So straight down, I'm at the spot where the where the um, the marker is right here. You can see I'm at the brown spot, so I'm just going to dig down. And that's going to be clay. And I, I need you need it for the forge, too. So get 50 for the forge and then get a little bit more. Because you have to put clay into the forge. You have to smelt down clay, basically. Okay, that gave me 155. That's a good start. I'll grab one more... Uh, one more stack, I guess. That's a pretty good start. Usually, I mean, clay goes by pretty quick in the forge. I think I also need some stone. I have uh, 14 stone. So let's go over to this big boulder over here and we'll whack this stone. I'm dropping raw iron on the ground, so be mindful of that if you are. If, I'm going to drop this... Uh, no, I don't want to drop the murky water. Let's drop the gunpowder for now. I hate to do that, but I want this raw iron. Because you can put that directly into the forge and get more iron that way. Okay, now we have 40 stones, so we need 50 for the forge. We'll keep going. You can see when I when he's on the ground, just like I said before, I'm gonna eat this food real quick. But when they're on the ground, just go after. I mean, go for the head. That's doing your best your best bet. Now I have 56 stone. I'm gonna grab a little bit more stone just to have uh, to you know make stone axes and stuff like that. Sandwich, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, I think we got enough stone. Let's get back into the crack a book. Um, and I'm gonna jump in here. And a lot of times, what I do when I lay down storage inside of a inside of a place, I'll go to the map. So let's pull up the map. Um, I'm gonna go push Y and go click save waypoint. I usually use this little. It looks like a little cave thing, but that means I have storage here. Because later on in the game, you're gonna be like, where was all those storage places at that I, I don't remember where I put them? So let's click on. We should be able to make a forge now. Click on Forge. Yes, we can. So now we got a Forge. A Day 2 Forge is pretty darn good, uh, in my opinion. I'll take that. Uh, let's go and lay down a campfire. Also, and if you look at the bottom left, I had temperature. My temperature was 90. So uh, let's see if we can make a poncho. Let's go to click on Clothing. And um, I don't think I already have a poncho. Let me just double check. I don't have a poncho on. I do not. So uh, I have cloth chest armor. So let's go. Uh, let's make a poncho. Because when you start getting hot, you want an animal hide poncho. All it takes is leather. So I'm going to craft that. And here's all the things. Here's all the schematics that I read that I can make. I can make leather leg armor, leather hood, leather chest armor. Uh, I know I already have cloth chest armor. Um, I don't have any armor. Let's go ahead and make some leg armor. We'll make that. And let's go ahead and make... Um, what am I wearing? I'm wearing a plant... I'm wearing a cloth head armor. Let's go ahead and make a leather hood. Let's go ahead and do that. There is my animal hide poncho, so go ahead and put that on. And uh, let me see if I can show you guys. Insulation, negative 20. So it's going to take your temperature from 90 to 70 right there, just by wearing this poncho. So put the poncho on. That's a good thing. There's my... Uh, Cloth leg armor. I'm sorry, my leather leg armor. Now I have some leg armor. There's my hood. It's level 73. A lot better than my level 7 armor. I'm going to scrap that old one. Um, I'm going to go and lay my bedroll down here too. Um, so we'll do that. Let's go and put our campfire down. And so if you want, you can go and start crafting some food. If you want, I have... Look, I think I have enough uh, water now to make... Let's go ahead and use. Let's go ahead and put the cooking pot in there. So if you click on raw meat, now you can make boiled meat. Uh, that's a good one to make. I'm gonna go and make charred meat though, since I already have that in my inventory. And then um, can we make corn? Do anything with corn? Yeah, we can make corn on the cob. So make a couple of those. 
Um, let's lay down our forge now that it's done. Put it right here. And so it you need an anvil to do anything with the forge. So um, you need to put iron in there. We have only 76 iron. We don't have a lot of iron. Do I have any iron in here? I don't. Um, yeah, so I don't have a lot of iron. I do have some raw iron, though, don't I? Yeah, I have some raw iron. We'll throw that in there. So what you want to do is you want to smelt down this stuff. I'm going to go and take the raw iron out just to show you guys. You want to put the lump of clay in here. So to make uh, forged iron, to make anything, you need iron and clay to do that. So I can already make a piece of forged iron right there. And then eventually you'll be able to make a cooking grill and a cooking pot. There's the cooking grill. So I recommend crafting one of those. You need the anvil to do that, though. So, to make the anvil, let me see what you need. I think you need 75. Oh, you need 200 iron. So, I probably won't have enough to even make an anvil. So, you need an anvil to really make anything. So, that's your first goal is to make one of those. It takes clay and iron. So, make an anvil and then you can make um, a cooking grill, a cooking pot, if you need them. You can make forged iron. You can make iron arrowheads which is a really good thing for your bow. They, they do a lot better. And you can just kind of go through here and see what you can make. You can make a lot of different things. Um, you really need the anvil for a lot of things. So just keep that in mind. Um, there's the mini bike chassis. So you have to make the mini bike chassis in the, in the forge. So it takes iron and clay and you have... I don't think you need to know the schematic to make this. You just need to know the schematic to put it together. I could be wrong though. But it only takes 200 iron and 20 clay. So we make the mini bike chassis. So, and I'll be making a mini bike tutorial pretty soon. But anyway, this is what I'm going to do. Day two, if you want, you can go into, you can make a whole bunch of stone axes. to bring up your uh, your crafting skill if you want. Make a whole bunch of those. You can also make a whole bunch of uh, wooden bows and wooden clubs. To bring up your weapon smithing. Uh, you can do that if you want. But Anyway, that's pretty good. Getting a getting a forge on day two is pretty good because that's going to open up a lot of different things. Um, if you make the cooking grill, then like I said, you can go in here and you can make grilled meat. Grilled meat's pretty good. There's our food there. Uh, let's go ahead and turn this off. Make sure to grab your cooking pot out of here. If you're going to go somewhere, make sure to grab your cooking pot out of there. And that's about it, guys. Uh, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm going to hang out here and then we'll, we'll do some more tutorials. So... Sorry for the longer videos. I'm not going to edit these as much just because I'm trying to show you guys uh, everything I do. What, why I do it and why, why, you know, all that stuff. So if it's a little longer, I apologize. But I thank you guys and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.